What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be dedicated for those of you who are stuck in the tutorial hell. It means that you are just watching all of these tutorials, you are in this vicious cycle of just watching everything, everything makes sense, but when you actually start making or your own project or some exercises, you don't know what to do, you are just like, oh my god, I don't even know where to start. So this is what we're going to cover in this video. But first, before I start, I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for all of your support because we just reached 10,000 subscribers, okay? I'm super, super happy that we reach now this mark. And because of it, I'm actually going to give five free accounts, a full year access on my website, telmosampaio.com. The only thing that I'll ask you guys is to put a like in here on the video and to drop a comment in here telling me about like what's your favorite video about me on my channel, which one is your favorite video and, and why is it? So just put a like, drop a comment and I'm going to select five of you guys and I'm going to give you a, an account for a full year access on my website, tellmosampai.com. Alright guys, so now that this is done, let's go back in here to these um to this topic so you are watching all of these videos you understand every single step but when you actually go to to do something you don't know where to start you know what's the problem in here the problem in here is because you are not practicing enough you are just watching i'm going to give you a couple of uh, examples in real life examples so when i was in university Sometimes, because if I was not studying enough for an exam or something, I was just reading through like my notes or, or some slides or whatever. I was reading everything, you know, make sure that I was prepared for the exam. And all of the things, all of the points, they make sense. I understand everything in here, I understand in there and so on. That's it. But then, when I was actually going to the exam, that I actually had to write down some stuff like doing some exercises, I was like, oh shit, I don't know what to do in here. I don't know really because I was like, I didn't practice enough. That's when I realized, wow, I can't just watch all of these. I can't just read. I need to practice. I'm, give, I'm giving you another example. When I was living in Portugal, okay, before I moved to the UK, I knew uh, how to talk English. You know, I didn't practice a lot, uh, but you know, I could watch movies and I could understand all the English. But then, when I moved to the UK, and I was actually forced to talk 24 hours a day in English with other people, sometimes people, they were talking to me, and I wanted to say something, and my voice was like, ah, ah, ah. I, I wanted to talk, I wanted to say something, but I couldn't, because why? I understand what they were telling me, but because I was not practicing the talk part, I couldn't actually do it. And this is exactly the same thing in here with these projects, guys, with all these tutorials that you are doing. The way that I actually recommend you to do these tutorials is make sure that you watch one tutorial. It's fine to watch tutorials, okay, because everyone does it. Every, I, I watch tutorials as well when I want to do something new that I never done before. But the trick is watch the tutorial, try to take some notes about what did I learn from this tutorial, okay? And realize one thing, you don't need to memorize everything in your, in your head. You don't need to, oh, now I'm gonna start a project, I'm gonna do everything by myself without even looking anywhere. This is not how the real world works. So what you need to do is watch the tutorial, try to see if you understand everything, which most of the times we say, yeah, yeah, I understand everything, but after, you need to actually build something by yourself. Try. And you. I'm going to tell you, the first time that you're going to try, you're going to be like, uh, I don't know what to do. That's completely normal because you are just getting started. Okay. When you actually force yourself to build something from the scratch by yourself, you do it once. It's going terribly. You know, you can't do anything. That's fine. The second time you're going to do it, it's gonna be better because you already did it once and then the third time and so on. When you build a project or when you learn from a tutorial, try to after do something by yourself. I'm gonna tell you as well, one of the biggest problems with these tutorials that personally I found is that when we go to a tutorial, it could be for example on YouTube, it could be for example on Udemy, 
most of these courses, they go like with three hours or four hours or 10 hours of content. And you know, when people, they put, wow, look at my course, it's over 10 hours of content. It's all great and stuff, but I don't have the time to go over these 10 hours because I'm either working, I'm doing other stuff. You know, you don't have so many hours a day to go all through this stuff. So what I advise you is to try to find some tutorials that are not that long, okay? Because when you go through these long tutorials, I find this with me. When I go through these tutorials that are 10 hours or whatever, sometimes I'm just like, wow, I'm in the middle of the tutorial after like five hours, which I can't do in one day. So I need to do maybe like in, in a week or two weeks or whatever. When I'm going in the middle of the tutorial, I don't even remember nothing from the beginning sometimes. This is normal. So try to go over tutorials that are a bit shorter if you can. And obviously, the first time that you watch a tutorial, try to code along. Okay, don't just watch it. Code along because at least you will learn something. And in the end, practice. The more you practice, the more you will learn. You need to remember that People like me that I have been doing this already since 2014, so it's like six years that I've been doing this. And many other senior developers, people who have 10 years of experience, 20 years of experience, we learn most of the times by trial and error. So what does it mean? Imagine that if I'm trying to build a website, I know that the first time that I'm gonna build a website, it's gonna be horrible. I look at some of my code when I got started and that code was, was just horrible, okay? And the more you do, the more you practice and the more experience you gain. I can tell you that senior people like myself and other much people with much more uh, experience than me, with 10 years, 20 years of experience, we have failed so many times at doing something that we actually become good at it because we already know everything that you can fail. You already know everything that can go wrong. I can tell you even, for example, uh, because I'm an instructor now at a bootcamp, um, I notice like looking at the errors that everyone does when they are building their websites or their projects or something. I have seen so many different types of errors from all these people that I already know <laughs> all the mistakes that you can make. And with this, I also gain some experience. All right, guys. So this is really my recommendations for you, how you can actually escape this tutorial hell um you know like i'm just gonna do a resume about this what we said in here uh, just try to watch some tutorials that are a bit shorter so you can actually go through all of it then take some notes when you are doing these tutorials to see what you are actually learning from this tutorial so you remember later on and then in the end is actually you need to practice try to do the tutorial by yourself if you need to look something uh, sorry, if you need to look something up, up after, you can do it. If not, you know, you can just like uh, uh, try it and Google it or whatever. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope that you can uh, now get out of this tutorial hell that everyone is going through. Um, thank you so much as well for all of you guys that you have been supporting this channel because we are like 10k, like I said. Um, and that's it. Don't forget to put the like button and put a comment down below telling me about what's your favorite video about me in here on the channel because I'm going to give five accounts for a full year of access, okay, on tellmesompire.com. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.